Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratko Tarot and this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for November 5th to November uh, 11th, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a, a general reading for Aquarius Star Sign and it is not your personal reading Therefore, uh, I will try to do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But at the end, it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And also, I want to let you know that uh, the monthly uh, videos are already out here on the, this very same YouTube channel. So if you want to know uh, the prospect for your star sign uh, for the month of November, please feel free to indulge yourself with them. So that being said, going to the tarot spread first. Uh, four card spread. The first one is to show the topic of your Aquarius this week. We do have the Knight of Swords. So this is going to be a very, first of all, dynamic week because the Knight of Swords it is very pushy type of person. All right. So this is how you are going to be. Very decisive, very tenacious, quite courageous as well to take on a uh, undertakings and tasks and um, <clears throat> and also uh, to take uh, what is the word here the lead into one relationship etc etc. The Knight of Swords is one of those cards uh, representing that one is seeking for um, the true path if I may express myself that way. So through a series of a, a chain decisions here, you are to uncover a, a, a very accurate approach for yourself that is, um, that is true to yourself, excuse me, in the sense of that, you know, it will, it will work for you, but it may not work for anybody else. That's why it's very important that throughout this week as a topic uh, to be true to your, uh, uh, to your emotions and to your feelings and generally to what, toward what you think to be, uh, to be true and real. In the sense of that if you think that a certain approach is needed in, in a project or in a relationship, then you should definitely do something about it instead of, for example, giving it a silent treatment or constantly talking about it while... Um, uh, instead of actually reaching your hand and seizing or grasping it. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, throughout this week, Aquarius says, uh, everybody will expect from you to be initiative. All right. So the, the universe itself is, is going to expect from you to be initiative. So guys, if you do have uh, someone that you do like, don't, uh, don't be shy. Ask them out. Uh, if you do want a, a certain project to uh, to be given to you, then again, don't be shy, guys. Just ask for it. Go there and deliberate with, with your boss about what is the possibility that you can be involved in that, etc., etc. This week for you has a, a full implication of that. If you want something, you ought to ask for it, all right, instead of just... Um, hoping that someone miraculously is to, to uh, how can I place it, is to spot you and give it to you because you think that you deserve it. You may deserve it, but in the same time, you know, you need to um, make a point over it. Then the next card uh, is pointing the core of the situation, and that is the, uh, the Hierophant. So the Hierophant in this case falls as the father of the hierarchy here in a sense of that you have reached a, a, play, a, a, a place yeah, or a standpoint or kind of like a, a milestone in which you are now in a position to um, demand or it's not even a demanding, you know, but rather to charge into greater heights and to charge into, a, a, as I said, a, a new undertakings like 
for uh, like I gave you the example, if you want someone out, uh, someone to start date with you, ask them out. Now you are reached that point where you you are in a position to do it. So so probably um, you have proven yourself capable or worthy to do so. You have made that impression. You know uh, you did the previous steps required, so you can find yourself in such a position that you can finally start grasping upon uh, whatever you hope that you can develop for yourself either career-wise or either relationship-wise. The very least here, uh, you are, <clears throat> how can I place it, you have already, um, uh, it's not even a research, but let's say deliberated upon the future options available and probably at this week you are to find yourself ready now to push hard forward and to really start manifesting um, you know your wishes and your dreams and in general your agenda again through a, a very swift actions here and a very de kind of like determined decisions that you are to make but again those decisions and those action those actions needs to be fully fully consulted with your emotions so again guys don't be afraid to ask throughout the week because uh, with asking you can reach to the other side of the globe we do have such an expression here in my country well not exactly the same one but it's just it's not gonna make sense if I literally translate it to you but what you need to know here is, is that you have reached a, a new stage of a um, uh, a positions here a new milestone and you need to start making use of that milestone either career wise or either relationship wise the next card is to show us the challenges that are causing predicaments for you we do have the queen of wands so that should be a, a person here that <clears throat> simply is um, I cannot say jealous but let's say that this person has a, a different idea how you need to be utilized or uh, how you need to be capitalized on and because you do have now a, a different milestone somehow you are placing yourself outside of her grasp I'm saying her because we do have the Queen of Wands and uh, you need to know that this woman she really knows um, how to how can I place it she really knows how to um, how to obtain things all right she re she really knows how to make people work for her she really knows how to achieve certain things how to press buttons and how to oppress people as well so it's kind of quite a lot to overcome and it is quite quite challenging because as the fact that we do have this woman here it means that she do know you she knows you very very well and she knows what leverages you are to be uh, to be banned upon all right so don't be surprised if uh, someone approach you with a, a statement that seem threatening to you all right or seem seems rather a bit uh, overburdening it, it seems kind of like you don't have any options available because this is the game that this person most likely a woman plays I mean she she uh, corners people making them think that they don't have options available but you do that's the thing so you do it is just as I said you need to be brave and initiating enough so you can take advantage of those options available of course you can no longer rely on her for the future and you need to know that she is quite of an exceptional leader probably she sacrificed herself or something of herself for your greater good and this is most likely a leverage that she is going to pull out saying you know how you could how you can detach from me uh, as I have done so much for you until this very moment etc etc you know a uh, typical typical case is if you are trying to detach from your family renting your own home and your mother approach you and say how can you do it uh, how could you do this you know we did so much for you and now you are leaving us etc etc but this is again a, a milestone that you have reached in which through which excuse me you can now take your own direction uh, and the last card here is pointing to the um, the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you while two of cups here points that you should try to maintain the uh, 
the good terms with anybody you can because that is to be crucial I mean your environment and especially your uh, your fauna is uh, is very important in a sense of that the people that you are surrounding yourself with because we do have this card here is to play a, a vital role into your near future so uh, the less arguments and the less confrontations you have with those people or with any kind of people around you um, <clears throat> the better as a matter of fact this card here is showing that despite that this woman or that person is to be quite challenging for you to detach from you still can do it by uh, keeping up keeping up the good terms in between you two so for example if that's a boyfriend or a girlfriend and this represents the uh, the wishes of your behalf to break that relationship you know you still can walk away from it uh, leaving the good terms like staying friend with uh, this person for the future as you may need their help um, <clears throat> further in the future as the two of cups here suggests and also this card is pointing that you should find more strength within you to share what is within your soul you know if you are afraid of something uh, share it with a faithful companion uh, if you love someone share it as well you know if you if you for example uh, yearn for something as well make the other see that or know that you yearn for that particular thing basically give a, a reason behind your actions support your actions with a reason so uh, that was the uh, weekly tarot reading for you Aquarius is now let's see what the Lenormand cards are to say for you uh, what the Lenormands uh, are going to show us is event that you should either look forward to or try to avoid let me shuffle them uh, really well here and uh, let's see what we got now the first card this is to be the ship and the ship speaks for uh, venture traveling risk and something that comes from afar the next card that we do have this is the lilies now the lily is spe speaks for uh, elders family sex and also a kind of like an, an indulgement all right so uh, and the last one that is uh, the anchor the anchor it speaks for longevity it speaks for hope it speaks for um, how can I place it like establishing one comfort zone so what we do have here is um, adventurous um, kind of like uh, this is this is very difficult to explain even from the port of Lenormand so what, what are you, what are you to start experiencing here is, is a completely different uh, thing a long-term thing the thing that you have hoped for that will cause you a state of indulgement and it's going to be quite adventurous but in the same time quite risky so uh, a risky indulgement that it is a, a long-term one that it is something that you have hoped for right so that could be uh, for example friends with benefits type of thing uh, it could be a as well <clears throat> you know that you are detaching as we do have the ship which speaks from afar and that could stand for family again detaching from your family you know walking away that is to be for a long-term prospect as well or uh, these cards as well could speak for just uh, <clears throat> a, a very good establishing comfort zone by you taking the necessary risk in order to do so but these Lenormand cards here are pointing that the event is going to be surprising is going to be happy and is going to promise a, a long-term stability so that being said of course here seeing the uh, tarot cards you need to have the courage to push into that direction so uh, that being said Aquarius is this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, again, this was just a general reading for uh, Aquarius star sign, and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, I did here my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy of the, of the spread. But it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.